All right, you got the Pumpkin King, Indiana back today, and uh, we gotta go make a pickup just down the road. So, uh, see filled R190. She's been kind of sitting for a little while, hasn't done a whole lot. But, uh, see, uh, she should fire up. I moved her here this morning. A little real king paint job, getting a little rough, but I just, It'll last for this year. Then maybe next year we'll put something a little better on. Throw on our little on switch. <laughs> well, you can't beat that. Listen to that baby fur. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, uh. Well, uh, once we get to where we're going, I'll uh, show you what we're picking up. Destination is about a, about a mile down the road. We'll get pulled in here to show you what we're all loading up. All right, we're gonna go down to these other places just right down the road here. Get her loaded up. another purchase as they say on the other farming channels I'm gonna put them two smaller ones on here and make little pumpkins out of them too Have you put one in the front? One in the back. We'll put one up one up here. My 
my neighbor Mike Kittle there. Oh yeah, perfect. This is gonna be an amazing thing here. Then we'll put one more right back here. I don't got very far to go with these. I'm gonna maybe have to do some way of chalking them, but <clears throat> oh, yeah, sweet. Heck yeah, perfect. We're loaded up. That's John Deere power right there, boys. Oh, yeah. That's going to look amazing. Oh, yeah. Big pumpkin, two little pumpkins. This is going to work out good. All right. All right, we're loaded up. We got the pumpkin truck ready to roll. Take her on back down to my house. Ah, there he goes. Well, uh, we'll drive on down the road and we'll get some more video on how we're going to build these babies here tomorrow. <laughs> or we'll continue on tomorrow. I'm sure this ain't going to be much of a load. Little R190. Alright, we're back a day or two later, but uh we've got our pumpkin truck and our hay bales, and we've got our trusty Wagner power painter. That's what I used to paint that truck. It turned out okay. <laughs> so yeah. We're gonna paint them bells orange and paint faces on them. So that's how you're gonna build a giant pumpkin, so I'm gonna get this paint mixed up and I'll show you guys how we do this. Fast and easy. Like we like our women. All right, we got our trusty Widener Power Painter. We've got our, uh, this year I'm going with Kubota Orange. <laughs> that ought to be a nice, uh, nice tint. Last year I went with AC Orange and I don't know, they had Kubota Orange. So I thought, you know what, hell with it. This uh, sprayer. Seems to like it thinned a little bit, so I'm gonna throw a little bit of hell that a little more hell that looks good. A little bit of paint thinner in there, and then we're gonna throw a little bit of this Kubota orange in there. So I might have to have two hands to pour that. We'll we'll show you what we're gonna do here. Okay, I'll mix her up a little bit. That's all I had. We're a cheap operation around here, so that's all I had was this saw blade. I may have mixed this too much, too little, I don't know, but this spray gun seems like it thinned out a little bit, so that's just cheap ass uh, real king paint. I think it was $38 for that gallon. For some reason I thought a gallon did it. The whole bale, but I bought a little extra, so. Anyways, that power painter, it'll throw her on there, but uh, I'm going to get that on there, get it adjusted up, and we'll get a painting. All right, we got her fired up. We did the other side. I just want to see if I got it set about right. I think it is, so I'll kind of show you how I would do this. Come on, baby. There she flows. And basically, that's it.
paint these bells up. I got this big bell this year and this little one, of course. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna keep on painting. I'll show everyone uh, what we'll end up with. I'm right-handed, so it's hard for me to try and paint with this left-handed. So I'll get painting these babies up and uh, show you all the end result. All right, we got the basic painting done of it. Uh, that's what you end up with. The Bud Orange, Wagner Power Painter, a little overspray, but at the end of the day, who gives a shit? So that's all we got. And then, uh, of course, we got good old Magic from Real King, just like the other stuff, black paint. So we're gonna paint these faces on these pumpkins and uh, show you what the end of the result will be. And that's a completed project, guys. Got the pumpkin truck ready. We've got our big giant pumpkins on the back. I've got a five gallon bucket I put on top of the big one to represent a stem. I, I may do the little ones, but probably not. But yeah, don't look too bad for just throwing something together like I usually do. So make it work. But if you ever go about doing that, you'll need a gallon of Kubota, Kubota orange from Real King. We'll get you in two cans of a black. Oh, damn lighting. Move on over here. Two cans of uh, black spray paint. That'll take care of it. So we'll wash the old truck up, make her look all beautiful. And uh, yeah. That's what you got. Pretty cool. I know kids love it and single moms do too. So that's all that matters. So got about uh, $60 in the two bales. I think about 40 in the paint and the gallon paint and then the two cans. So, you know, $110 what I got in this. So this time of year why the hell not you know so anyways that's about it for today she'll be featured in the cory apple festival parade come next weekend we'll get some video of that too do one last pan over this beautiful rig